M.M. is a vampire of the Clan of the Rose. She's an artist. She comes from the world of showbiz. She's flamboyant and radiant, which can be somewhat contradictory in the vampire world. She owns cabaret clubs and is highly visible in Boston. M.M. sacrificed her life for love after falling for a Toreador vampire, Hilda. To keep their relationship for all eternity, she agreed to, or rather requested, the embrace. She has successfully turned her clubs into areas where the clans, whether anarch or from the major families, tolerate each other. That is something rather unusual. They are neutral zones, like Elysium. M.M. wants to expand her cabaret network. And this can work in the prince's favor because if she can entice M.M. with the benefits of expansion, she can use M.M. and reach Hilda through her. The Toreador clan is a clan of divas and stars. They portray some of the idealized seductive vampire image that is often portrayed in pop culture. We started by doing lots of research, mood boards and concept art to define the Toreador archetypes. And then we broke away from that to give MN more of an identity. We gave her two outfits. MN loves making herself beautiful. She owns cabaret clubs. She loves to be on show in her red silk dress and gold sequins. MN goes against the grain, wearing outfits you wouldn't necessarily expect. MM has a certain ambivalence because despite being a very high-profile character in the Camarilla but at the same time is questioning her commitment to the Ivory Tower. As a general rule, when you play MM, she serves an almost ambassadorial role. Whereas the other characters are sent off to conduct investigations and gather information, MM is sent to negotiate. During quests, MM relies heavily on her vampiric discipline power, presence. It is somewhat unique to Toreadors, allowing them to use their social aura to influence whoever they're talking to. But she can also use a range of human skills, such as persuasion, etiquette, and psychology. This is what allows her to move in different circles and rally people to her cause. M.M. is a member of the Camarilla, but since she interacts with the various factions around her and people with other ideas and beliefs, she starts to question the rules of these organizations to which she belongs. Are these rules too strict? Does it limit what she can achieve now? When considering quest design for MM, especially level design, you need the levels to branch out somewhat, so players have a lot of choices and a lot of different paths to take. These paths also need a variety of ways to access them, such as unlocking doors, convincing characters to let you through, jumping to a ladder that was previously inaccessible, or climbing a wall. <laughs> 